Bloomberg giving ABC 13 a one-on-one -on -one interview during a campaign stop today here in Houston. And reporter Stephen Romo joining us live tonight with the former New York City mayor's comment about his run for the White House. Stephen, what's he saying? Yeah, had quite a bit to say, Chauncey and Alona. Of course, Super Tuesday is still pretty far away. It's in early March, but Texas already becoming an important state for several of the front runners in the Democratic race. In Houston, focusing appeals on minority voters, Mike Bloomberg telling the crowd he knows being white helped him succeed. Because the truth is, if I had been black, I wouldn't have had the same opportunities and my life would have turned out very differently. Speaking with Bloomberg one on one after the event, he now says he agrees with other front runners in the Democratic field, backing further study to see if the federal government should pay reparations to the descendants of African slaves. I, I agreed to um, uh, back a study. Uh, I think what you have to do is take a lot, as much money as we can. And if you want to help communities, you have to improve public education. Bernie 2020 national co-chair Nina Turner in Houston as well, arguing for Sanders, saying his political career has been pushing toward ending income inequality. Senator Sanders, his goal is to change the material conditions of people in this country. And African Americans understand that far deeper than most because of the disparities that still exist. In the new Texas Lyceum poll, Joe Biden leads the state with 28 percent. Sanders is close behind with 26 percent. They are followed by Senator Elizabeth Warren at 13 percent. And though he entered the race later, Bloomberg's at 9 percent. He's followed by former South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg, rounding out the top five at 6 percent. Texas is vitally important. Most of those candidates are focusing ad money on the early states, but both Bloomberg and Sanders are already spending here. The others expected to focus more on Texas if they're still in the game come primary day on March 3rd. Stephen Romo, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.